Hey, I'm Dana. Welcome to Tools and Tips to Owning Your Worth. Today's topic is um, taking things personally. Don't do it. <laughs> and before we get into that, I would like to thank my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope that what I talk about today resonates with you and if it does please like the episode and if it really resonates and you want to poke around a little bit I would invite you to subscribe and to everyone please share and comment I've been getting more comments which is super exciting I have another request for a topic based in the comments which makes me so happy I love it and then one other little piece of secretarial um, information anything that I talk about or reference in terms of past episodes or anything kind of funny or anything like that I will link below so um, just know that those are always available to you from this episode all right Try not to take things personally. Hmm. This is the one of the best tips that I was ever given and I've worked very diligently at it and wow, you talk about refreshing your life. This one can really, really, it's got some meat to it, let me tell ya. Because we tend to read people as we talk to them and now with social media we and texting we read comments we read words and unfortunately we all have our personal filter right and we are either we are all working at some personal growth or we are at some area in our lives and what often happens is when someone does something, we assume it's to us. Or someone says something and we take ownership of it. And when we choose to do that, oftentimes it leads to um, a huge energy break, an escape of energy that we really don't want to give it. So for example, if someone gets angry and starts yelling at you, including if they're saying terrible things about you, it is really, really hard to put our ego in the corner and be like, okay, I am not going to take umbrage with any of this because they're not talking to me. Um, we tend to get super angry or we come from reaction or defense and we end up engaging. But it never ends well, right? I mean, you either match them and you start saying just as ugly things as they are and then you don't even feel good or you are caught deer in the headlights. That was me a lot of time before I figured this out and I would just kind of stand there and take it, which was not good. <laughs> and then you just feel like absolute dog crap when you leave and then you're beating up on yourself which is silly because this other person just beat up on you um, and all of that can go away if you just keep this one tip in mind and I actually have used this just in the past 48 hours so I am here to tell you that it's super duper super duper important and it's very easy and the one thing that you consistently just let let run through your head as all this other stuff starts bubbling up is I'm not gonna take this personally this person's anger toward me is this person's anger it has nothing to do with me nothing I had a client in here in my office last week and the circumstances were um, that the marriage was ended and um, she was frustrated because of some things that he was, her ex-husband was saying to her. And I explained to her very simply that 
The only reason that words have power is if we take them in and give them the power. We own that. So the less you take things personally, the less garbage you've got dumped on you. If somebody can say anything to you, but if you just let it metaphorically fall in between you and that other person, and you don't own it, and you don't take it, it loses its power, it loses its grip, and that energy doesn't go anywhere. Um, I've been practicing, so another tool along with this tool, it's like a tool subset, is if somebody says something and I, I know that they're just coming from anger, I have looked right at them and said, I'm not going to, I'm not taking that. That's, that has nothing to do with me, that's not mine. That's just you spewing your hate or your anger in this moment, that's not mine. I'm literally letting that fall to the floor. I've said that to people, and first of all, they have no response. <laughs> so that works really well because most times it just, whatever is going on, it just, it's like a, a black hole or a vacuum. It just sucks all the life out of whatever they're trying to do. But second of all, it works because you're hearing yourself say, I'm not a shitty person. I'm not going to take that on because that's not mine. And if you if you really ignore your ego, because your ego is going to be like, oh, well, I can't believe they said that about me. You know, it, who cares? People say things in anger all the time that they don't mean. Don't take it personally. If something happens in your company and you end up getting fired, don't take it personally because you basically have two things to figure out. Number one, if you take it personally, it's going to drag you down and your next job hunt is going to suffer because you're not going to have faith and confidence in yourself and your abilities. Number two, if you choose not to take it personally and you look at it as my job was downsized or I no longer fit the position or management changed and there was just a personality conflict, it takes all of that power away from that incident. We've all been fired, okay? Unless you're like, you know, 15 or 16 watching this. We've all been fired. It doesn't feel good. But it feels a whole lot easier to deal with once you work through the fact that if you take your ego out of it, you move on so much more quickly. And once you get that space, that perspective, a lot of times you can really see that it wasn't a good fit. So why was I upset? You know, I know people who I have pointed out to them, the biggest gift they've gotten was being fired from a job because it gave them their freedom. It gave them a much better job. It gave them a better opportunity. You can look at uh, relationships that end the same way. If the relationship, everything in the world has a beginning, a middle, and an end. If a relationship ends, and you don't take it personally, if you understand the, the pieces that you own, right? Like you and this person have outgrown each other or you're on a different page when it comes to your self-care or your, or your self-work, right? Like, you know, working on your shadow side and all that good stuff. Don't take it personally. You just don't fit anymore. So that is the, the tool that I'm going to um, summarize again. So bringing it all back. No matter what the circumstances, and I'm not saying this is easy, okay? I think that's the other thing. I talk flippantly a lot, you know, because I really want to get the message across. But the, what I'm giving you with all of the tools I talk about every week, they're not easy tools, but they are manageable tools. And they are tools that when you begin to instill them in your life and your lifestyle, they really do help. So no matter who says what to you, please don't take it personally because it's never about you. Never. It's always about the other person. And that second tool, if you are in a situation where somebody is yelling at you, you can elect to not absorb or entertain any of what is being said to you. And if you can find it, you can look at them and say, I'm not taking any of that. I don't know who you're talking to, but none of that is mine. So I'm just gonna let that drop to the floor. And watch what happens. <laughs> You'll be surprised. You can do your own little uh, investigating. <laughs> so 
that is um, my, my tips and tools for the day. I hope that you have a fabulous day and until next time, namaste.